the same reason you chose photography. You passionate about your work? That's why, because I feel like that was the best way for me to express myself. Well, you know, I used to DJ too, though. I was I started out DJing most of the disciplines except for um like graffiti, and my hand was just not that good. So, but everything else. But as far as like MCing, I just felt like that was um I had a lot to say. I used to be really introverted as a kid in the youth, my youth. And I felt that that was the best platform for me to express myself. Platform, I'm sorry. What? Oh my, oh, my shirt? Yeah. yeah, because my presence is important. You know what I mean? I'm here, I'm present. You know what I mean? My voice matters. I count. You know what I mean? Then a little cross promotion because my next project is titled here too. You know, so... It's just if you have a respect for the art form, then you're going to make sure that your discipline has been perfected in terms of your skill set. You know, that's the way for authentic hip hoppers. You know what I mean? It's, it's a multi billion dollar industry now, too, associated with the lifestyles, as you know. So some people have different goals in terms of monetizing maybe their skill sets or whatever. But for the authentic hip hoppers, I think that's kind of cool. You know what I mean? Not kind of, but it's, it is cool. And it's very humbling to, um, because when you're being yourself, and you're creating and you you know years going by you putting so much time and effort into your de dedicating to your craft you're not even looking at what your contribution or your presence may represent years down the line you're just doing what comes natural to you you know what i mean so i think the connection between that being a source of inspiration particularly for females in the uk and all that i think it stemmed primarily from um taking an organic approach you know from the b-girl aesthetic to hip hop and also for my collaboration with um, Ronnie Size, you know what I mean, for the uh, the New Forms project, because I think that was pre like grime and all of that, you know what I mean, pre Lady Sovereign and everybody. And um, I think that that kind of like maybe spearheaded the association to that. Um, also, too, I know that people over in the UK have a really, the support system is really, really embracing when it comes down to and informative when it comes down to people's catalogs and contribution historically the guys over there and women over there and artists and the community are very knowledgeable of you know the music history and stuff like that which i really appreciate and, su and support i think that um if you're talking about the culture of hip-hop you're talking about the commercialization of the component of, of rap. I mean, like I said, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. It's an international industry and it's been for several decades. So, you know, any industry is the bottom line is what? The monetization, right? Aspect of it. So to me, it is what it is. You know, I think that there, for an artist like me that's an authentic hip hopper, it's about balancing the business aspect and the artistic aspect, the cultural aspects of it, without compromising my integrity, which I'd like to think and know that I'm on the road to doing or that I've consistently be, been attempting to, to do. I don't, I don't really, I'm a prolific person, you know, an artist, so I don't really reflect on time periods. Like, I really don't have a good consensus of even time, except for if I have an appointment or I'm doing shows or <laughs> my set time. So I'm really just focusing on my craft and expressing myself and wherever I um, happen to be at that moment, you know. But, but, you know, in terms of analog to digital, if you mean the experience of being in professional studio environments, I started out in rec centers and in bedrooms and in basement studios. So the correlation between coming from an organic state to a professional state throughout the years, my skill set had been honed to develop and evolve to being a professional artist. And that was many phases. I went through many phases. But I really don't pay attention to things that aren't applicable to my workflow or what being a preserver of culture doesn't entail you know and I think it's more about doing and living and acting that out more than it is about comparing apples to oranges because it's beyond my control you know whatever I would have liked to have be or whatever I perceive the cultural aspects of our culture to be at this particular point in 2018 
is just what it is, you know. <laughs> this is my 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 point. My uh, my position is to continue putting out quality work from what I understand hip hop music to be. My interpretation of it, you know.